Oh, he's on fire. You watch him go. Jason, just just change the opening. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, it's completely different. It's no longer "Welcome back." It's "Hello, oh guys, what's going on?" <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs> Anyways, um, I am underneath the arena here, and I think it's time to. What the hell was that arrow doing? To unveil what I'm. Oh Jesus Christ! The mobs have been giving me like lag here recently around the arena. Wow, extreme lag. Um, anyways, so, it's pretty obvious what I'm doing here, it's, it's a farm, but it's not just any farm, it's going to be the biggest fucking farm ever. Um, the plan is, I, I've been playing, like, today's the day I got my internet back, just to give you guys a reference on what day it is, because I don't know when I'm going to upload this, I'd like to do this whole project, show you guys progress as I go along with it, and then upload it all. So hopefully whenever you're seeing this, I finish this, and you'll get to see it from kind of start to finish. Uh, I wanted to get an idea of what, what it was going to look like, so I did one row here, and there's water, just like this water here, there's water underneath, underneath here, and then whenever I get to the next row, it'll be like this, this will be dirt, but it's not, anyways, and then see the water comes through and so on so it's just one source block of water up here at the top uh, for each row and it goes all the way down and I will show you what all the way down looks like it's a long ways and I've gone through four four picks that four pickaxes so far to do this part of it and this is my last one and it's only got a few more pieces left like a few more hits and it's gone so I figured I'd show you guys where I'm at and I'm gonna have to go find some diamond or something I don't know um, so you may have seen a cave video in the past, and so I'm going to upload this in the future, and you're probably going to be like, why are you caving, and you're not going to know that I need diamonds at this time. Anyways, I might just go cave on my own and find some diamonds. I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyways, it comes all the, way all the way down to here. So, the idea is going to be, whenever, whenever I hit a button, or a lever one, probably a button, down here, it's going to open... What are you talking about? Because they're gonna go caving. That's gonna open up a single source block of water somewhere up up in there that will be split x number of times, where x is equal to the number of rows I have of wheat. So let's go all the way back up here. Foo Fighters. All right. So let's say. Like the water was coming down here, it would it's gonna hit this point right here, and this will split it to where to go that way and this way. So you get the point there. I'm I'm just gonna pour a source block in here so you can see what the whole thing looks like, or get an idea here. The water's gonna run straight down through here. Uh, the reason I have water up there is because I just poured that one block, but it's gonna take out all the wheat, and I'm gonna fall and take some fall damage. <laughs> Oh, uh, I am good at this game. But as you can see, you guys know what water looks like when it flows. This is what this, this is. This is this is the extent of it. This is what's happening. Um, and then once it gets all the way down here, I'm going to filter or funnel it to one p specific spot. My idea is also to underneath here have a mushroom farm. So I want to have this massive fucking wheat farm. That's right. You, you you have to cuss when you talk about it. That's how big it is. Um, we have this massive fucking wheat farm, and underneath it a massive mushroom farm. You know you have to cuss about mushrooms. They're not that exciting. The nether's full of them. But for the wheat, you have to cuss because it it takes work. <laughs> Anyways, 
So that's the idea here. Uh, huge wheat farm. I know you're like, why do you need that much wheat? I don't need that much wheat, but I just want to do this. <laughs> I want to have the biggest wheat farm I've ever seen. And uh, you go through and you hit the button once and you have enough wheat for like the rest of your life. So that's the idea. Let me go up here and grab my, my water. Made me a little infinite spring out here. And up here's the, the arena. I mean, you guys should know where we're at, but just to give you guys a bearing on what's going on here. I've dug a hole in here to put to put stuff in the chest here, because out here's where I was messing around with these pistons. And I don't think this is going to work, the whole piston thing. But again, by the time I upload this video, we've probably already worked that out. So I'll stop talking about that in this video. This video is all about massive fucking wheat farm. So that's what the title of this episode is going to be. <laughs> massive fucking wheat farm. <laughs> Uh oh my god, why is there a creeper over there? How did he spawn? He's like spawned on the lightstone. Uh I'm gonna need to farm some more glowstone too. It's uh close to a stack, like uh I think it's fifty three is how many it takes to do one row all the way down through here. Actually I messed up a couple times, so I think I lost like two, so it's probably about fifty or so. Fifty one, something like that, to do one row. And I have, let's see here, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, two, 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 three, two, four, six, two, seven, two, eight, nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, four, thirty-five, thirty-six. So thirty-six times fifty, whatever that number is, like six hundred, six hundred and something, <laughs> more than six hundred. Uh, but anyways, I want to get started on this too because Karur is at a point where he doesn't know what my plan is for down here and I don't want him to blow all the way down on this end because he doesn't need to. Um, so that's why I did that, that row over there first to give him an idea of how far down it needs to go uh, all the way across because I, I never did tell him what my plan was for down here. I just said, go forth and dig. <laughs> um, anyways, that's that. I'm going to update you guys as I make progress with this, and I will show you all everything I do for the most part. Well, not everything I do. It's going to be a lot of tedious work digging this out. Like I said, it took me many, many hours a day. These fucking mobs keep spawning. I need to get, I, got, I have to get lit up in here for zombies come along and mess my shit up, or creepers, I mean. Um, but yeah, I'll probably show you guys like as I put the the massive plinko in for the water. Um, and I'll just... I'll just give you guys random updates as I go along. So, anyways, be back with you guys later on. Well, guys, just to update you on the status of where I'm at with this thing so far. We are down to layer four. There's the top layer. So, one, two, three, four. Four done. Fell in the water. And it's coming along slowly here. Uh, it takes about. I don't know, about an hour per row, I would say, is what it seems to be taking right now. But that's that's for up here. Um, I still starting to put some blocks down in some spots too. Um, but once I get further back this way, it's gonna, probably gonna take a little longer. What I've decided to do right now is just uh, put the glowstone at the end pieces, and I'm gonna figure out because I might, like for instance, right through here, I might put all half steps, and then the next row over repeat what I've done here. Um, so I might not need to put. Yeah, in fact, I'm almost positive this right here will be all half steps, and the glowstone in the center that'll be every other one. Because I don't want to, I don't have to keep going and farming glowstone. That's so far that's been the biggest problem. I only started putting it in permanently here after the second row, uh, so these rows right here still need to be glowstoned. But I will get to that. Uh, just wanted to give you guys an update on where we're at and where we're going, and uh, sh you'll see all this once it's completely done. So another update. I have um, added to my supply of stuff here. Now we have some lag. <laughs> uh, that's the glowstone I've gathered. Uh, let see, that's my junk. Got some dirt over here and some chests because I keep running out of dirt. That I didn't gather, I just brought over. And I went and got some diamond pickaxes because I'm going through them like just wildfire. So I uh, went out and did some strip mining. And got that stuff together. So moving forward here, 
Let's see, last time I gave you guys an update, I think we were at four rows. We are now at one, two, three, four, five, and halfway through row six. Um, but I I saw this pickaxe coming coming to a close. Uh, well, actually, it was the other one I had. It was coming to a close, and I had one more, and that was the last of my diamonds. So I figured it was time to go out and get some more before I continued moving on. Otherwise, I was going to be completely out, and I didn't know what I was going to do. So that's that, and I'm going to continue working on this, and someday you guys get to see it. <laughs> All right, so another update, and apparently Squid have found a a home in my my working here uh, farm. Here it is as it as it appears now. I've had some help from Vintage Beef and Shri. I did not expect to see quiz squid here though. But yeah, here's where the the farm is at so far. Looking good. Be done before you know it. <laughs> well guys, another little mini update here. Um this is where we are we are at now. Shri has been has been helping me quite a bit with this, so it's uh <laughs> this turned into a group project, I guess. Um, we're we're getting there. We're almost. I feel like we're almost done. Um, of going back to to the pickaxe action, um, just because what he, he's been doing. I mean, he's not he's not on right now, but what he's been doing is he's been doing these rows, and I started doing just the columns um, down through here. And what I did a minute ago before I ran out of TNT was I dug I dug tunnels I used it the last time I TNT in the tunnels I'll show you what I mean by that yeah see there's a tunnel straight through and what I basically just did is I went one up from where we want to be and dug a tunnel straight through and then put TNT every three blocks um, so we got a tunnel straight through here, and uh, and so here I did I did one tunnel, and then on top of it I did another tunnel. Um, I think I did the same thing. Mm, maybe not. But yeah, so it's kind of holy. <laughs> it's like Jesus. Um, but uh, <laughs> lost some some glowstone and stuff in the in the process with some TNT. But it's 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 almost there. Um, today is Friday the fifteenth, and I want to get done before Wednesday because that's whenever the two hundredth episode is going to be, and I want this video to be the two hundredth episode. Now I know it's not. Shit. Ah! I don't have a sword. <laughs> uh, man, he's he's coming right along, ain't he? Uh, but yeah, this really has anything to do with being the 200th episode. It's just uh, something I've been working on for a while. I think it'd be fun to have such a long project be, because I've never done a video like this before. Where, oh, the gems, <laughs> the gems over here, Mendigo. That had to have been him that just did, did put that block there. Uh, but yeah, I've never done a project quite like this where I spent this much time doing one thing and just recording little segments and I really don't know how the video is going to turn out so I guess we'll just have to wait and see I don't have anywhere to put this junk at anymore damn it well um anyways just want to update you guys on where we're at and I'm going to keep plugging at it here and hopefully you'll be seeing all this on Wednesday um it does look awesome though it really does and it's just a little bit left. <laughs> uh, I would say man hours at this point. Myself alone, I think I've put in over 40 hours. So, I don't even know comp when you add in. So, I know Vintage Beef came over and helped for about 4 hours one night. Um, Shree's probably put in 20 hours, 30 hours, something like that. So we're looking at probably over a hundred hours, maybe. I I don't really know. Um, Adlington helped for about an hour and a half today. I don't think the gym's actually helped. He came and looked at it a few minutes ago, but he hasn't actually helped like dig anything. 
Um, he's working on his own project right now. Um, but uh, yeah, trying to find time to do this as well as do the things I've been doing over at um, the little little piston village. Uh, it's it, it's been something different. I, I've been been enjoying it. So, anyways, I hope you guys like the end result here, and hopefully it all works like I want it to. Because it's a lot of work to have not really actually tested the concept at all. Like I'm hoping that the the wheat doesn't fly up on these half blocks. I might have to build something bigger than these half blocks for the wheat. Because when the wheat comes down through here, if it lands up here, that's not going to do me any good. Because I'm not going to walk through this whole thing and gather wheat. I mean, even if 50% of it probably landed up here, I'd still get more wheat than I know what to do with. Um, again, this this is just one of those, another, another one of those pointless things that I, that I, I make that doesn't really uh, have a purpose, but it's just something fun to do. So, anyways... I'm going to get back at this and I'll see you guys in the next update. Hey again guys, just want to give you guys an update on what's going on. There's bombs. <laughs> um, today is Tuesday the 19th, so tomorrow is the day that this is supposed to uh, it's supposed to all be shown and this is how much we have left to do. I think the TNT might be lagging me a little bit. Um, so I got, I got some people helping me out here, which um, Shri has been helping all along. Jesus, watch out. <laughs> um, and the gems is doing some damage with some TNT. And uh, Stennett is, is on. You don't guys see you guys don't see him much. Some of you may not even know he's on the server. Um, he doesn't get to play much and his computer sucks ass, so <laughs> you rarely see him. He was uh he's pretty much my first subscriber to the Minecraft stuff. So um, he's been on the server for, for a while now. Uh, but that's about it. So still digging it out. Um Almost, almost there. Once, uh, once I get there, I'm gonna go make some diamond hose because diamond hose are cool. And I'm gonna hoe all this up. And I don't know, I don't know if there's enough seed, honestly, to plant it. Um, uh, <laughs> might have to 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 get some seed from somewhere. Uh, I guess we're gonna see if I have enough seeds or not. But anyways, that's that's the current update, and I'll show you guys once, once. There's more, or a significant difference, I guess I should say. I just want to show you guys, uh, everyone that's over here, helping out. Hey guys, another update here. We have finished, finished all the digging. Digging's done. And so it goes on down through here. And I made a diamond hoe to do my hoeing with. So I finally got me a diamond cane to walk around with. So I roll. Um, let's see here, here we go. I still gotta figure out something to do with the with the squids. The squids are crazy. They're everywhere. Um There's Shree again. But yep, all the way down. Here it is. And I didn't really calculate correctly with my uh, glowstone there. Um I had to go one more with the the last row of dirt. And then uh this water here is gonna take the wheat on down downtown to right here <laughs> uh, because you can pretend to show you some wheat and I'll be down there and the reason why there's a doorway right there is I'm gonna go straight through all the way to the back so that I can wire up my lever for my uh, for my water uh, I guess let me throw him a, a diamond hoe and uh, anyways whoops <laughs> that's that Hey man, how's it going? That's yours, bitch. Hoe up my shit. <laughs> Get to work. Uh, anyways, that's that. <laughs> and I'll be back once uh, once we're even closer to being completely done. Hey guys, another update here. We're moving along. They've started. Um, the, all, all the hoeing's done. <laughs> um, Shree or the gems and Shree have been planting seeds, and I am putting down. The half steps. Well, this, this is some interest. Inter at least it's interesting to me. Whenever you place this glowstone here, it's going to force these blocks around it to get wet. <laughs> uh, the the effect of the glowstone makes them all wet. Um, I don't know why that is. I, I know it happens on its own over time, but it's not just blocks. Because if it was just a block update, then it would happen when I'm putting down these uh, these half steps. So I don't know. But we're still we're still working on it. Vintage Beef came out, checked it out. He removed those torches back there for me. Um, I asked him to do that while he was here. 
And I still want to remove these too. I just think they're an eyesore. I'd like the whole room to be kind of dark, except for all the glowstone down here and everything. But anyway, still working on it, and uh, I'll show you guys once we're further along. All right, guys, another update here. Whew, this thing is uh, this thing is taking a long time to make. I'll tell you that much. That was kind of strange. There's a squid out of nowhere. Um, still not quite done. I gotta finish digging the hole through there and uh, uh <laughs> Kruger's helping me at the moment by the way the private in the front there that's so that things don't show up on the website when I was programming it I made it so that uh, things don't show up on the website if you say private first that way we can talk and keep it secret uh, but it's really strange how it looks different in the seeds that are just planted versus the wheat that's already grown um, yeah, crew just showed up. He's helping me. He helped me finish laying down the half steps. Half steps alone took, I think it was six hours. That was, I did most of it by myself. Crew came when I had like this, like these columns here left. Um, planting the seeds, this part, right, that's already grown, that got done earlier, uh, as you saw. And uh, we, we just, I just planted this part through here. Luckily Vintage Beef had some seeds, uh, Shree had some seeds, I had quite a few seeds. All of us combined we had enough seeds to fill this thing in with uh, with some more to, sh to spare here. Um, planting the seeds alone probably takes about an hour. Um, which is crazy when you think you gotta reset this thing every time you, you activate it. But let's not think about that right now. Um, so next thing I gotta do, finish the wiring up through here all the way up to the top and make the plinko for the water so that I only have to open up one source and that's it then we're done um, I've considered actually not doing a plinko just because I, I, I did that in the 404 video recently for the mushroom farm and that was actually harder than I thought it was going to be or more of a pain in the ass I thought it was going to be um, and when I was making this I was thinking that I was going to do something with these squids so that I could kill them as they came down but um, I've kind of run out of time here, so nothing's going to happen with the squids as of right now. Maybe maybe at a later date we can do something where the squids get killed. I don't know. Um, anyways, let me get back to this. It's it's almost midnight right now. Uh, the 19th. Well, it's about to be the 20th. And this has been a month-long project. So yeah, I'll show you guys once it's completely done and we do a harvest and we'll see... How a ridiculous number of uh, wheat all come towards us. Be back in a bit. All right, so we're we're building the plinko now. Um, easiest way to do this that we found is um, I've I've been building this wall right here while he runs through and careers who he is um, while he runs through and places the blocks as he builds that wall. Concern we're having right now is that I'm going to run out of out of height here before. <laughs> Uh, bef before we get it all single down to one block, so it might have to end up going with multiple pistons and multiple source blocks of water, which won't be bad. I just want it to be one to one single source block, but whatever. I've already brought the redstone up. There it is. That's the whole block on top of block, um, or not block on top of block, block with redstone on top of it, and block over that, redstone on top of that, and so on. So that's where we're at right now, and it's uh. It's definitely after midnight now. So it's now the 20th, which is the day this episode goes live. Hey guys. <laughs> uh, we're in the present. Anyways, um, I'm sure I sound tired. I am tired. This is. I probably procrastinated a little bit too much with this. I mean, I've been working on it diligently for the last month, but not to the extent that I've worked on it today. I kind of thought it would be a quick thing to finish today. And I was mistaken. It's definitely been a long thing to finish today. So, I guess I just didn't account for how long it would take to place all the half steps, make the half steps, um, plant the seeds, stuff like that. Stuff stuff I thought that would be quick ended up being long. <laughs> quick and long. That's probably something she said. Um, what that little hole right there is. Anyways... Uh, gotta keep getting at this here, and then we'll test it, and we'll see a massive harvest. Um, and you guys will see it when I see it. Alrighty then. 
Alright guys, it's almost time to do the thing with the thing. All the weed is, is good to be going here. Um, I have to <laughs> um, I have to go back and I put dirt up across the back wall to make sure that I didn't mess up and harvest the wheat while I was making while I was making the switch and putting the water in and everything. Um, let's see here. The only things I haven't showed you yet. Um, I finished it last night and um, went to bed because <laughs> it was a long day finishing this thing up. So I'm gonna sh let me show you guys the ending here or the uh, the finale. Um, this is a this is a room full of chests, by the way, in case you're blind. Um, here's another room full of chests. So I'm gonna do like seeds on one side and plants on the other. Um, let's see here. Let's go. Let's go back up to the top. I'm not sure if I've showed you everything up there. And let's get on this ladder here. <laughs> The the entry and exit way is still not um, the fanciest of things, but whatever, it's good enough. It'll work. Let's about to get dark. I'll show you guys this real quick, and then we'll go remove that dirt that's blocking the stuff from happening and make it happen. Here's my massive volcano-looking thing back here. Um, the gems brought up the fact that I could have just used a lot of pistons and yes yes I know I could have just used a lot of pistons I went into this thing wanting to make a massive plinko so that I could go with just one source block of water so that's what I did um, if I were to do it again yes I would just use lots of pistons I just wanted to to test the whole thing is just a big big something to do um, this, this is gonna be cool type of thing um, where I went in with a with a goal in mind and I wanted to do it that way. I did almost run out of room up here at the top of the world, so I had to um, split the water. I'll have to show you once I get up here. I had to split the water three ways from the source block because I ran out of room in the world. Um, once I get up here, it's it's a big ladder. This is like one of those water towers that you shouldn't climb up because if you do, you'll probably just fall and die. And it kind of is a water tower, actually. So, it, that's exactly what it's like. All right, the world is so tiny from way the hell up here. All right, there's my redstone torch that has been brought up one on top of the other all the way up to here. Here's my single source block of water. Um, when that opens, it splits there, there, and there. So water goes down to this one right here, and over to this one and over to this one over here and that three-way split there allows the plinko to split it all the way down to the bottom perfectly basically um so yeah that's that's that um now all there is to do is go down and remove that dirt and make it happen so i'm gonna go do that and just a second we're gonna see the biggest wheat harvest in the history of minecraft Alrighty guys, here we go. It's it's go time. The button has been hit. Oh, let's see if I can get up here. Oh yeah, I had to glowstone before before I did this thing. <laughs> uh, let's see where we can get before before all the the floodgates come through here. I don't see the water yet. It's gonna take it a second to go through the plinko and down the down the chute. No. <laughs> I'll just stay here so I don't die. Uh, I don't want to miss it. Is it coming? Very slowly. Oh, here it comes. I see it. I see something. I saw something. I swear I saw something. Yep, there it is. There's the water. Oh yeah, biggest wheat harvest ever. That is a lot of wheat getting harvested right now. I don't think it's either it's not working over there, or I just it 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 can't. My computer cannot render all of that all like it's too much. Oh yeah, it's it's too much. 
It's freaking the fuck out. <laughs> this is like the biggest TNT explosion ever, except it's with wheat. Oh my god. That is crazy. Like, there's water running through some of this wheat, and uh, it just can't keep up. It can't break it all. Like, oh, if I get my mouse there, like this wheat right here, it's it's broken. It's not really there. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Okay, I see a lot of the wheat is going up on the half steps. That that does make me sad. But honestly, I don't think it matters. <laughs> <laughs> uh <laughs> All right, I've got to cut this off if I can get down there. Oh my god. I can't move. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. That is a lot of wheat. If I could just get... I was, I was putting that glowstone there in hopes that none of the wheat came up here, but it looks like some of it still did. But that's okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> I am trying very hard to move right now. Uh, oh, I moved finally. Oh, let's get down here. Oh my god, at all the wheat. So much wheat. This is insane. I'm not even picking any of it up. My computer's just like, no, mm -mm. you're not picking any of this up. It's too much to pick up. I can't carry it all. <laughs> oh man, at the wheat. So much wheat. And seeds. Oh, I can't even imagine what Shree's computer's doing right now. All right, off. I don't know if I got it off or not. <laughs> got it off. I kind of didn't pick up any of that wheat that I just walked through. I'm still not picking it up even though I'm close enough to pick it up. This is insanity. That did not cut off. Let's try again. Click. <laughs> I see my hand moving. Wow. Just wow. Oh. Uh, according to Fraps, I'm getting one frame per second. Zero frames per second. It's awesome. This is how you kill a computer with wheat. <laughs> I can't cut it off. Uh, wow, my message I just sent him an hour ago finally went through. Wow. Oh, yeah. There's all kinds of... Uh, Server can't keep up messages on the other computer. <laughs> I'm gonna crash the server. Oh man, the wheat's gonna despawn before I can pick it up. It's still falling. Oh man, this is awesome. <laughs> oh. I want to cut it off so bad. So, yeah, warning to all, you cannot make a weed farm this large. It will kill the server. Server's still spamming. Can't keep up. <laughs> uh, I'm getting more frames per second now. No, never mind. Back down to one. Wheat's still falling. It's ridiculous. There's just no way to pick it up either. It just can't be done. <laughs> uh, Shree just messaged me that he got DC'd. Oh man, I wanna, I wanna do something, <laughs> but there's nothing I can do. Oh, wheat still falling. I wish I could cut this off. I think that would improve performance. There's just too many items for the server to even keep up with. That's why I can't put it in my inventory. This is insane. 
Like, if I could pick up these items, it would probably help server performance. If the server doesn't crash before that happens. It looks like I'm picking it up. I'm getting messages from forever ago. Like, I can see on the on the other screen um, what people are actually saying right now. Like, Shree's not even online right now. We're just not getting his messages. So this is like, flip a switch, kill the server. <laughs> uh. Man. I bet they're still falling. There's some up there. Oh yeah, they're they're still falling. Jeez. I wonder if we're close to done. They can't even fall. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Every time I think they're done, I see a couple more fall. I'm surprised mob grinders don't. I guess that there's just enough enough delay that it doesn't slow down the server, or maybe it does just a little bit, but not to the extent that harvesting fifty thousand wheat does. Still haven't picked any of these up. They're gonna despawn before I can. Oh, I finally got one piece of wheat in my inventory. Oh, and one seed. Let's establish those two slots. Now pick them all up. Grab them. Get them. Oh, I got two wheat and ten seeds. I guess that's just too many block updates all at one time. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, Alan has said that like five minutes ago. <laughs> Technically, all these items should be despawned right now because it's been five minutes of them sitting on the ground, but they're just not because the server doesn't know it's been five minutes. I wish there was a way to cut off this water over here. If I cut off the water, I think it would help. Let's try again. <laughs> I've clicked. Oh, there's my hand. It's moving. Kinda. I almost think if you ever do if we ever do this again, you have to like flip the switch on and flip it back off after you've given the water a time to move so that it's already cut off before it crashes the server. <laughs> oh man. Well I think this is all there is to see here, guys. If I ever get all these items or if I ever get this cut off <laughs> I will I will resume recording. If not, then um it's been a good time on YouTube. This is the end of the series. Um, because the server's dead, my computer died, we all died, we drowned in wheat. Alright guys, um, <laughs> I, I'm back in the game, apparently stopping or restarting the game would have been a good idea. I, I'm, I was apparently just lagged out, I couldn't handle it. Um, whenever I disconnected and reconnected, it kind of fixed itself. I waited till the server stopped freaking out, basically. And uh, then I stopped the game and restarted it. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is crazy. My inventory was completely full. Uh, if if it wasn't for lag, um, I would have got more items. But I just I couldn't move, so I couldn't pick anything up. I've stopped the water now. It should technically stop someday, um, <laughs> and then we can replant, I guess. Uh, probably didn't actually get enough seeds to replant at all. Um, I put everything, like I said, my inventory was full. I put everything I had. Like, here's all the seeds I got. And then, here's all the wheat I got. Right. Oh, that's not all the wheat I got. That's my stuff. There's all the wheat I got. Um, I saw Allington here with wheat in his hand. The gym's got some wheat, too. Uh, I guess if you had, like, what you'd have to do is have, like, four people down here with no inventory, or nothing in their inventory. Um, <laughs> again, yeah. Crazy, man. Um, yeah, for, for like four people down here, nothing in their inventory, and just go crazy with it. And start it and stop it all at the same time. Um, because this thing is, it is a server killer. Uh, but that's been the largest wheat harvest in history. Server crashing, computer crashing, 
madness. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is also the 200th episode of Minecraft. Um, I'd like to thank everyone that has stuck with me this long, um, inspired me to make these videos, to start this server up, to uh, to meet all these people. Uh, that includes people who watch these videos and people I chat with like on IRC that have watched the videos, the people that have joined the server because they watch the videos, just everyone that um, that made this happen and has been with me this long. I, I appreciate it. Um, I love you guys. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's about it. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed. This has just been a big ass weed harvest, but anytime something crashes a server and crashes several people's computers, I think it's a uh, a job well done. So, um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Owen, oh, the intro and outro. That's that's the song by B Double O. If you guys don't watch him, you should check him out. He's freaking hilarious. Um, B Double, the word double. O is in Oscar. Um, 100. That's his YouTube name. I'll put a link in the description below. And uh, if you if you don't know about all these people on the server, um, check them out as well. They're linked in my channel. They all make videos. So except for Karurur, but nobody likes that guy anyways. So. <laughs> Uh, anyways, see you guys next time. Always on fire. You watch him go through the fence. You watch him go through the fence. You watch him go through the fence. Find just the same as life. Got you laughing every night. Yes. <laughs> Oh, you're not even shit, just got This prank is amazing. Oh, God. <laughs>